What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are doing a uh, thank you Caldheim draft. I've actually been quite fond of of these so far. They, they've been pretty good. The format has been pretty pretty decent. Mark, welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Glad you didn't glad you didn't accidentally sub to someone else this month. Oh, blessing of frost. That's interesting. This is you put X number of one one counters. Where X is the amount of snow mana, then you draw a card for each creature with power 4 or greater. This actually seems pretty good. Provoke the Trolls is 3 damage, and then plus 5, plus O oh if it doesn't kill that thing. Raven is good. So Raven. I really wish when you hovered over cards it didn't it didn't highlight. I wish it only zoomed if you like right-clicked on it. I really feel like that's a, a fine way to do it. Is that an option? I guess not. Okay. Because it's just like really hard. Like if I'm just going over this and I, I want to see what's to the right of this, I, I don't want, I don't feel like I should have to move the mouse to do that. Anyway, I'm going to take Blessing of Frost. I actually reset something the other day. I told you I got debated, but it seems to take a few days. Oh, Mark, I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, my dude. Let's go with Blessing and we'll see what we can do with that. Ooh, Morit. Oh, also Narfi. Hmm. Yeah, I think Narfi's pretty, pretty bombable. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with going Soul Tie Snow. Narfi seems bananas. And it is. We've, we've, we've had Narfi before. Rootless you! Crank that soldier boy. As it were. So. I mean, I kind of like just Ice Hide Troll. This card's pretty good if we're going full on ice realist you is fine but like there's really not that many uh six six toughness or power creatures in the game. there's like two i think that are reasonable to get um one is the six six in green the other is the three seven in black and those are literally like the only two i can think of off the top of my head so now we have Augury Raven or the Rootless U. I think we're still going with Augury Raven. It's still just a flyer. We can also take Priest of the Haunted Edge. I think Raven's a little better. I bet we can get a bunch of Priests if we really want them. Yeah, Snow Covered Swamp is probably... Uh... Yeah, there's also a really good... Like, there's a Sculptor, Ice Hide Troll, and Priest in this pack. Valkyrie Sword, also good. I think we do just want the, the the swamp here. Like, all of these are pretty replaceable, and one of them might even come back, to be quite honest. Oh, Frost... Oh, I, I always get Frost Augur confused with the one that makes 4-4s. Four that one's really good. Frost Augur is actually just fine still, but... Zombie Wizard, Bird, Troll Warrior, Human Wizard. You know what? I think this is going to be fine in our deck. Demonic Gifts. Eh, nothing in this pack is truly exciting. I really don't want a, a dual land that's literally none of our colors. I think we just take Dread Rider. If any of the U's come back, it's totally fine. What up, Austin? Well, uh, Sculptor's actually pretty fine. I kind of like it better than Frost, Frost Speak Yeti. I'm actually 0% French, so the P is not capitalized in my last name. So the answer is no. It's very funny when people think my last name is French rather than Italian when I look significantly more Italian than French. So I'm going to take Priest. This looks pretty good, but we're, we're squarely in uh, Sultai Snow right now. Um, let me take the Raven. I, again, I'm not going to, like, we're in three colors, so our ability to get lands should be higher than than having to take, you know, generic. I'll take Broken Wings. But do you deny? I did not deny. 
I like having a broken wing. I'm not sure we're gonna be a, a, a kennel master deck. Yeah, this guy's fine. It blocks a lot of flyers. There's flyers in the format. What more do you need? Mucho B is in the chat, everyone. Oh, look, the priest came back. I've seen decks like three to five priests, and it's pretty wild. You're either on priests or you're not on priests at all. Snow Covered Swamp, first pick it. Realm Walker. As it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. You look at the top card of your library, you may cast creatures of the top of your library if they're the type. So I got zombie, bird, troll warrior, spider, rogue, zombie, human wizard. Like it's just, there's too much diversity. This is just, choosing a creature type here is just not great. The only thing it's great is like it gets plus one, plus one from Narf here. I, 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 I'm honestly just on the, the snow covered swamp here to be quite honest. I don't know what snow creature means. There's literally not a single snow creature in this pack. Unless you're saying name snow creature, but you can't. That's not a creature type. It's a subtype. Snow creature does not count as a creature type. Um, I like Skull. Feed the Serpent's actually got to be it. I, I hope this snow-covered forest comes back, or even Faceless Haven. But we're going to take Feed the Serpent. Grim Draugr. Oh, I actually like Shimmer Drift Veil here a lot. And I think we're not giving up that much. See, like, being able to say Snow Creature would be the same as saying Legendary Creature. That's not a creature type. That's a card type. So... Like, if you're able to just, like, name Legendary and then, like, hit all the Legendary Creatures off the top of your deck, like, that'd be really good. Um... Three mana and five mana are a little underrepresented. I think it might just be Sculptor of Winter. I really like Grizzle Outcast. I know people like think it's just a, a generic generic nerd, but I, it's actually very big in this format, I think. We also have Augury Raven. So I'm pretty sure it's like it's it's either Mentor, Raven, Sculptor, or Grizzled Outrider. But for Narfi, Snow Creature, actually, it, it still doesn't act as a creature type. It's just saying Snow Creatures get that bonus. It's still a Snow Creature. It was, if it said Legendary Creatures get that bonus, it's the same thing. Yeah, I'm going to take out Rider. <laughs> okay, the double Narfi deck? Sure. <laughs> I mean, it's Legendary, but that's just fine. Man, we've seen three Frost Augers, but zero of the Avalanche guy that, like, makes your creatures... Uh, or makes your lands into creatures. I guess we'll just take Grim Draugr. Man, this fixing is not ideal. Hmm. Could just do Wither Crown here. I mean, this card is not great. We don't really have a deck for it. We don't have a bunch of creatures that we want to just give away, so... Uh, Bergstrider seems fine. I am hoping that a couple of the, uh... I mean, we definitely have to prioritize lands. We only have three snow lands so far. And our deck is pretty reliant on them with Grim Draugr, Ice Hide Troll, uh, Wither, uh, Priest, Frost Dogger, Blessing, Bergstrider, Narfi. What's exciting in this pack? It's nothing. I guess we could take Depart the Realm. Not terrible. What a Butter Pellin. I also... Eh, Rune could be decent. We have no way to get it back. I kind of like Skull Raid here.
Thank you. Not the plague. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it, buddy. I'm running, check it and see. Another a third priest. I mean, that's fine. I'd rather have another priest than another Grim Draugr. Grim Draugr is kind of meh. I'm running. Um, this card is great. I will gladly pick it up even though it's not a snow land. We have a lot of playables right now, so I'm pretty sure we can go a little bit harder on the on the snow boys next turn. Nope. But maybe. Oh, uh, no, we're just taking poison the cup. Yeah, Poison the Cup is fantastic. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Also, our curve looks very good right now. Snow-covered island. That'll do, pig. Yeah, easy pick, too. Oh, that's great. Okay, so now we're at four snow lands. If I can pick up, like, four more in this pack, I'd be really thrilled. Not ideal. Do we have any six drops? I actually kind of want one run ashore. Because I feel like we don't have a ton of top end. We could also take augury, right? We haven't I haven't seen actually any any of the four the three three that draws you a card. I mean, if there's a snow land in a pack, there's like a, a very high chance it's one we could use, right? It's three of the ten duels and three of the, the five basics. I'm going to take Augury, but I think it's got to be better than, than run, a, run a shore here. So, I wonder what Fabloop thinks of this deck. Are you talking about this Fabloop? Or the Fabloop down in the corner? Hot blooded chicken. Why do I have hot blooded stuck in my head? I don't know. Corner Fabloop. Okay. Because there's lots of full bloops, you know, so you really got to. Mountain. I'm not. I'm just not. Do I just take the stupid? I can't imagine playing a colorless land in a three color deck. Like, it just doesn't seem ideal. I think we're just taking way down here. Uh, if I can get like three more lands. Oh, actually, this, yeah, this actually seems great. This looks like a white card, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, you know what? I will take the ring. That seems great for us, especially because our three drop is not super full right now. This is just lands, right? Yeah, okay. All right, Snow-Covered Island. And nothing I'm super thrilled about passing. Or super hurt about passing? Super upset about passing? <clears throat> Super Fritz about pressing. <laughs> oh, come on. I want like two more two more snow lands and I'll feel a little better. I do want this run ashore though. I'll take a run ashore. So we got one, two, three, four, five so far. Seven, I think, is the minimum I'll be comfortable with. And if we're not if we don't get seven, then I'll probably just just drop out of the event. Giant's amulet is great. I can't I just can't justify playing an, an, an off color land in a three color deck. 
Yep, I don't think we're going to see it now. That's pretty brutal. Um, one, two, three, four. I mean, like, if we don't get Narfi back, it's fine. It's still a four, three, four, five that pumps our other creatures. How many creatures do we have right now? 14. I mean, if a mountain comes back now, I'll definitely take it, but... Five Snowlands is rough. If I send you a message in Discord with a song to sing about Mucho, would you sing it? Probably not. I don't love singing songs that are not real songs. I only sing real songs because it gets stuck in my head. Eh, Horizon Seeker's not terrible. Yeah, way down. Did we take the first way down? No, that's fine. I'll take a way down now. Yeah, this is just a situation where I feel like the, um, the snow did not pay off, and that's fine. It happens. Like, again, I don't think it's wrong to not take off-color snow lands. Like, it's like playing a colorless land in a three-color deck, and it's just not ideal. We do still have replicating rings, so like really the only thing that's that are that are super hit are the priests, I think. Got a raven form in here. I might want to weigh down instead. So fine, 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 fine. Thank you. Oh, Crash Maxwell. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Is that a new name? I kind of like Horizon Seeker. We can search for our lands. I think it's probably just better than Recluse here. From a friend. I, mean, I think Frost Dog is still fine. We have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen snow permanents on our deck, so like almost fifty percent. Fifteen creatures? Fourteen creatures, huh? Oh, but also Giant's Amulet is basically a five drop five drop creature I wonder if I just want saw it coming instead of like raven form that actually seems good like just being able to put that in the in the zone get in the zone or tail zone everything else seems fine so it's four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, four, five. So this is like six, six, seven. I don't know why there's so many. I don't know why those were blue. I guess because there's the most blue. I guess that's a good reason. Thank you. Oh, Kurt with the resub. A snow covered forest? No, I guess we hoped it would table and then it didn't table. Seventeen lands, right? Just wanna make sure I didn't subtract anything. Fourteen creatures, fifteen creatures. Yeah, this seems good. Alright. Let us see. Huh, 
green. Um, I mean, we can actually, this is actually fine. We can foretell both of these and still have something to do before we hit a blue mana. And blue is the highest represented mana in our deck, so. actually pretty good all things considered two out of our five snow lands in our opening hand is not bad Not bad. I mean, Horizon Seeker just getting in there. Like, I, I would easily, if, if I put Wither Crown on this guy, I would easily just pay it to, I, I'd pay one life to get in there for a free hit and get a free land for two mana. Hmm. It's not bad. They get to do that no matter what. I mean, this seems like an easy block unless they have demonic, uh, what's it called? Yeah, I've been in Colorado for about seven months now. Village rights is fine. Also, if they want to draw a card here, that's fine. It doesn't really, like, advance their board. Okie dokie. Artichokey. So we can Wither Crown this guy and also just, like, bounce this thing. That seems fine. And then next turn we have Burgle, Burgle Boy. good hit. Holy shit. Poison the Cup, Blessing of Frost, and Giant's Amulet. Wow. I don't think we could have lost if we literally drew those three cards in a row. Giant's Amulet would be a 4-4. Four, four. Augury Raven would be a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, we could put two counters on the Ravens, draw three cards. That's insane. Medina Streams? Is that my friend Richard Medina from California? John, good to see you, buddy. Oh, man. John, I'm glad you and I are talking more these days, dude. That was such a good turn where, like, we just get to bounce the guy they put the counter on and they don't have the mana to replay it. Dude, I miss you, too. We should redo it. Let's do a podcast. We can do... We can do untapped uh, redux. Don't tempt me with a good buddy. 
listen. One of my problems with podcasting that I've always had after Untapped was that every podcast I started, I would do the majority of the work. And, like, I was the only one good at, like, any sort of, I don't know, monetization or, like, you know, any kind of, like, background work, right? So, like, honestly, if you and I did something, it'd be really funny because, like, we both actually kind of know what we're doing. So, I wouldn't be the only one doing stuff. Um, yeah, just play Bergstrider. Dude, we should definitely chat about it if you're interested. I mean, I feel like we're still in pretty good shape with double Narfi, Augury Raven. But boy, that was a really sad sequence of hits. Jeez. Oh, you know, you know how to hit me. You know how to get a hold of me. Wow, they're drawing up. They're, they're village writing a lot of things. They have literally no snow mana, though, so that's good. This doesn't hit anything of mine permanently. Okay. It's really weird if, like, you've drawn, like, seven extra cards and Horizon Seeker is your best play. Okay, I just drew this, so I'm so sorry, bud. Like, this is a two-turn clock. Plus two, plus two reach and every creature type. Yeah, that's not going to do it. You can tell it's not going to do it because we killed the guy. Must be nice. It was that was nice actually. Thank you. Time to narfy the Gartog. That's all I want to do. Alistair Kane Adam, thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Twenty-seven months. That's basically three nine-month years. So, look at it that way. Okay, okay. Three, four, five. So if we, they do have to triple block to kill this guy. Is that a zombie bird? That's too bad. It is three babies worth of months. This is our, yeah, this is our third sub baby, so. I don't think it's worth attacking, though. Like, we don't get anywhere. I think I'd rather just play Augury Raven. We put them to four. They gain three, so they go back up to seven. I don't think there's a way we can win this turn, unfortunately. Or next turn, rather. Like, they're just going to have to force this guy in. Thank you! Uh, Bird's not lethal anymore. They gained three, so they go up to seven. There's only six. Oh, boy. He's like, there's no way they have two. You're playing double arachnoforms. Jeez. I mean, at worst, this guy trades with something, so. That's if they attack. <laughs> you know, I got a feeling. I don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. Okay, I got two more guys back. Sounds good. 
Okie dokie. Get in there. I guess these make sense when you have maybe multiple death knell berserkers, but... Yeah, I mean, we're just trading with Bergstrider. We're getting this guy off the board. Ideally. Well, it's rough because they can't. we can't attack into that guy. And I don't know how much more removal we have. That is not removal. What do we got? How many creatures? Literal no creatures in our graveyard. Okay. They have one unknown card. That actually seems totally fine. Yeah, I don't really. I mean, that's annoying, but. Oh man, that's a shrewd bug blanket. Oh, that's wild. Um. Wow, they didn't kill either of my guys. And they have no cards in hand. I mean, they're gonna have to tap this to put two counters on here, but I'll easily like double block and make my ice troll indestructible. So. And that seems pretty good. Boy, they really stabilized with the friggin' reach enchantment. Super awkward. Could definitely bring a broken wings in, I guess. I have to assume they have flyers somewhere in the deck, but maybe not. Oh man, the shrimp buck this shrimp buck fleece blanket is hilarious. They know this can only be done as a sorcery, right? That seems not great. I think that's game, right? Like, I, I can't imagine the one card they have that's like... I mean, if they have neg three, neg three, this guy lives. They could have blood on the ice, but they have no no lands. They could activate this in the troll. They still take six in the air. So if they go block here, block here, they take six, seven, eight. Thank you. I like turtles. Mick Gimp, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, Mike. 29 months. It's almost three years. It's very close. Seven years, seven months away. So actually it's closer to two years, I guess. Statistically speaking. <clears throat> you 
Yeah, Twitch Prime not having an auto sub is rough, but even as a streamer, I understand. It's basically turning on a free money switch, right? Like, you want to make sure that people have to actually manually turn on the free money switch rather than just letting them leave the free money switch on. I'm not going to play this because I literally don't know if they have, like, negative three to the board. I probably shouldn't have even played the second Narfi, but... I mean, Ravenform might actually be better. I'd rather give them a 1-1 one, one than just kill their enchantment. And if they're going all in on, like, enchantments, Raven's form is actually probably pretty good. Come on, feel the noise. This seems fine. It was a relatively easy game one. No offense to our opponent, of course. Just sort of worked out that way. Bolt Trooper. I switched my Twitch name. We had a good run. To be fair, the gut shot was five years ago, so. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time, Bolt Trooper. I mean, I still just call you Luke, so. This hand seems very good, yes. Skim Far Elder into Island Suspend. <laughs> I really just want to call Fortel Suspend. Oh, they mulled a five on the play? That's a yikes for me, dog. Uh, this will obviously... Eh, maybe it won't be green. We'll see. So we have black, black, blue, blue. Yeah, I'll make it a green. We don't have double green yet, so... Oh, boy. Oh, I was going to play this, but then I'm like, I'll just put a raven into play. That's so raven. I mean, this is four of our five snow-covered islands, so. Is there any benefit? No, I'll just take it. That's fine. I mean, like, having a creature in the graveyard is actually better for this guy, so... This is a zombie for an Arfi, keep in mind. Yeah, okay, I was gonna play an Arfi first, but. <gasps> my, my, my telephone. Okay, so I've drawn all five of my snow lands. That's pretty cool.
Oh, what up, antibody? So they got two elves. No, human warrior. They only did that. Did one? They did a onesie. <sighs> So we go one, two, three. This is one, two, three, four, five. We can play both of these. Or we can play one and get our... I guess we could have activated this too, right? Green. Green, black, black. That would have been good. We could have killed this guy. That would have been great. Good for us. Thank you. Oh my god, antibody. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate Thank you, you as a human being. Thank awesome, you. dude. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. So we're gonna play this. And then we have three snowmen to get this guy back. Sure. Thank you. This game's over. Yeah, this is game, right? Even if they go to six here, it's still... <sighs> eh. Not ideal, but... What can you do? I mean, uncommons do seem really powerful. I agree with you. But I think they're all, like, you have to be in certain archetypes to have a lot of them. Like, a lot of them are very specific. Like, Narfi obviously is powerful, but, like, you need Snowlands. You need things of that nature. Mm, this actually seems great. There's no snow, but we really don't need it for this hand. We can just literally suspend this on two, play this on three. Play that on three instead, actually. Get a swamp. I think Story Seeker is literally the most played card in this set. just gonna play this guy here um we have enough lands right now it also just blocks this guy. so do people want to hear us podcast what will we talk about my girlfriend has a positive for covid on the 19th she just tested negative thursday prior so obviously spent time together over that weekend they say i got tested the next day and since then i have tested negative four times she's doing well now we just went back to normal though her sense of smell taste is not rough but i'm glad she's like obviously recovering it's great to hear covid's really scary like you could either die or you could have like very mild symptoms like it's really hit or miss and like me personally i don't think it's really worth taking the risk uh to be like well um, you know maybe i'll be fine who knows 50 50 like it's just not Hmm. 
wish I had another snow land. I think I gotta just play this guy. We want to be able to activate this guy and saw it coming next turn. It's a big bird. Okay, swamp's a good start. I just want to land here, to be honest with you. I mean, maybe that was worse than just playing one of these other two, but having the black for Skimfar Elder Hall is pretty important. Plus, we can activate this guy. Gets us closer. Like, one more Snowland lets us priest this, so. Okay, that's pretty good. Does this guy have lifelink, too? Rune. have life the first strike lifelink and flying i mean absolutely oh snap that off okay so now we're just in almost total control here to part they're almost pretty strong assume you have a second rune in your deck. That's really strong, actually. Yep. I mean, I'd still put on the sword. It's the same thing. I guess maybe it's not. I don't know. Yep. Wow, their deck is really good. Is it 4-4? Four, four? Sure. That's still worse than what we have. You get it back from the graveyard, too, right? So, like, yeah, it's actually not even worth bouncing, to be quite honest. This is a not a snow creature. It's also not a zombie, so it's not getting any buff. So we're probably just better playing the Outrider. We only have two snow lands. So this is only a neg two, neg two. Oh, we can activate this and activate this to kill the champion. That's actually pretty good. Might have to do that. Yeah, that's fine. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Well, 
Do you want to bounce this guy? I mean, I really don't. Because then the rune falls off, and then when he comes into play, they get to replay the rune, draw another card. God, the life gain they have is just so good here. Yeah, I think this is just just necessary, unfortunately. I mean, we could have actually bounced the Dwarven Hammer. Seems fine. We have this for any small creature. Sure. I mean, this is a pretty good board. Got it. Search for an aura or an equipment. I bet it's rune number three. <laughs> That's my guess. Spectral steel. That's fine. Is this a sorcery only? No, you could have done that anytime. Oh, that's pretty good. Um... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think foretelling both of these is fine. They're both cheaper in the future and we're not playing them now, so. But I would like to keep Poison the Cup up on their turn or Depart the Realm up on their turn. We've got to pump this. Sure, that's fine. So they're dead. This is the end. Bing, bing, bing. Why? Why? Just end the game, man. They're like looking for things to do to waste time. I don't know why you did that second. Oh, I guess because you drew the card. Wait, what? How did you get? Where did this come from? What's happening right now? I mean, this definitely feels like multiple broken wings. Damn, phone died. Had to switch to PC. Got him. Um, take out Sot coming. Just bring in broken wings. Wither Crown seems worse when they can just when they're artificially pumping their guys anyway. I almost like Dread Rider here, to be honest. No. If it said other snow creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and other zombie creatures you control get plus one, plus one, it would. But it just says other snow and zombie creatures get plus one, plus one. So it's lumping them all into one category. They are not two separate, uh, two separate static abilities. Yeah, this is not the best, but it's also totally fine. Having all of our colors and double snow lands and three drops and five drops. And... 
I don't have a two drop or anything to foretell. Second spell giving a 1-1 one, one flyer is pretty good. When is Wallace getting Nemo? That's a good question. Watson would also need one. I almost want to keep broken wings up to kill this, but I mean, like, if they enchant it, we can still kill it next turn anyway, so. They're just running out a bunch of nerds here. I'm kind of totally okay with it. Oh. We're going to 11 here? Interesting. Okay, that's pretty good. Two, two life a turn's not bad. Yeah, so I'm just gonna kill that thing next turn. The Dennis the Menace. Yeah, this is fine. You got a six and you have one little bird on board? Did you? Were you the one that got me singing Ario? That's pretty wild. I don't know how half the songs get stuck in my head. I think I read one comment and I'm like, wait. This is from a song. And then I start singing that song. Was it heard of heard it from a friend who heard it from a friend who heard it from another you been messing around? Do, 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 do. What is this thing? Nothing I care about. Got it. I mean, I'll trade. That's fine. Man, I'm glad I brought the broken wings. I only got the Cosmos elixir over here. Mono flyer. Like, we've seen three flyers this game in the Cosmo Collector. Alright, they got the land. Okay, well, Magic's a cool game, I guess. Um, both of them, both of them. Um, put this guy on top. Burr, 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 burr. Okay, we're 2-0 right now. Our Kaldheim streak of of good good lucks has been extended. Another draft, apparently. So we're gonna try to hit that magical three zero. I said good day, sir.
Really surprised that with only five Snowlands, this deck is performing as well. I mean, the cards are just good on their own, right? Like, you don't... Narfi is fine without Snowlands. It's still buffing your other guys. And if you get three, you get them back. Cool. Well, if this had a second land, I could definitely see it with two Suspendy Boys. Yeah, this is better. Especially with the ring. I'm gonna put the Glady Boy back. I mean, if we draw another land, I might just play this first because then we can just Giant's Amulet afterwards, but we'll see what they do, I guess. Got he. I mean, this is just an 0-4. I caught some of the other night of of yours. You mentioned something about why you weren't streaming as much lately. this uh, I have not elaborated at all. Um, it's, it's a slow process, so... Was a nice hit. Um, learned it from a friend who. <sighs> Probably just gonna play Draugr here. I'd rather get a little more pressure on the board. If we hit another land, we can just naturally play this, anyways. So. I don't think Ice Troll's just that good. I think I just want this to guarantee the amulet next turn. Also, the combination of Elder Hall and Priest does kill this and give us two 1-1s. One Three is not bad. What is this? If it has eight or more counters, we want to make eight calls. I mean, that's an insane amount of snow mana. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. Oh god, I need double blue for that. Oh wow. That was terrible. Yep, that was bad. So this needs three, right? So we can actually kill this. No, we can't. We're just like, we're not doing anything correctly right now. <sighs> yeah, that was, that was terrible. Yep. I mean, we were bound to fail at some point, and of course it's going to be the, the match that prevents our 3-0.
I mean, the funny thing is I knew these had the second color in their in their triggered abilities. Seems good. I'm just jumping here to not take seven, unfortunately. A one mana counter spell? I would be very shocked. So we can put three counters on this guy and draw a card next turn. That's not terrible. This is a one mana bounce spell. I'm going to be very impressed. Yeah, that's going to do it. Wow. I could replay that guy, but on principle, I just shouldn't. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Bring in one broken wings. Saw it coming, seems a little too slow here. Oh boy, I'll keep it. Any blue or any green and puts us in business. We also have two snow permanents, which is great for everything else in our hand. one thank you guys for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons be sure to head on over to twitch.tv slash frank support want to support the channel it's a great way to do so you can subscribe for five dollars or free with twitch uh amazon prime twitch prime make sure you hit a land if you didn't okay you can also check out manatraders.com awesome awesome manatraders.com is an amazing subscription service for magic online if you guys want to try out modern which looks pretty sweet right now with the addition of uh call time. Maybe it's broken. I don't know. 
but um, Mana Traders is a great way to do that, so you can borrow the cards instead of having to buy every single card you want. And you get 15% off with the link and promo code down below, so be sure to use those. It's a great way to support the channel as well. Go to patreon.com slash Yeah. It's a little too late for that. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. 2-1.